Hey guys, Vlad here with AVT Astro, and today is the continuation of working on the LX200. If you're just starting to watch this video and didn't watch the first part, in the first part we basically replaced the capacitor and the hand controller on this guy, which is a must do before you even power one of these up, uh, if you haven't used it in a while, uh, or like, I mean, and like unless it's already been replaced. So anyhow, if you haven't watched that video, you don't know what I'm talking about, you're curious, you know, go watch that video. Um, so I have bad news regarding this thing. <laughs> so after I replaced the hand controller, um, I tried to mess around with uh, like that runaway um, RA motor issue that I was having. And basically, um, it more than likely can be fixed, but you know, I, you know, I spent a couple of hours on it and I just kind of quit just because... Um, you know, it's kind of more household than, you know, what it's worth. So what I'm going to do, then this is actually an interesting thing that you can do. Uh, perhaps you've heard about this. It's called uh, deforking the scope, right? So basically, we're going to take the OTA off because the OTA, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, right? And that way you'll be able to use it on a GM mount or whatever. Uh, so we are going to be doing that today. The first step that we're going to do though is we are going to install this very nice Lasmondi dovetail plate to the bottom of the scope. Uh, once we get that done, um, I am going to remove the uh, OTA and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, guys, now as far as installing this, it depends on, you know, kind of the type of uh, dovetail that you actually have. So if you have a Vixen style dovetail, that's like the narrower, you know, dovetails that are about this long, all it's going to amount to is, you know, just center screws, which is basically these two holes here. Uh, this is a, a Las Monde style, so it does have these little blocks that you install first, essentially. Um, and then the dovetail kind of goes on to so I'll kind of you know I'll keep the video rolling but I'll you know I'll put this thing on and uh, kind of see the result I'll fast forward it of course so you guys aren't bored out of your mind watching this whole process Alrighty guys so that's all there is to so the Lasmondi dovetail is installed now one thing that I will point out one issue that I've actually encountered doing this before this isn't my first go at doing this is uh, sometimes people, you, you saw me use the screws, right, to mount these radial blocks, or if you use the center screw. Sometimes an issue that you can run into is that people will get screws that are too long, and they'll literally prevent the primary mirror from, you know, being able to, like, basically travel normally, you know, when you're focusing the scope, essentially. So you do need to make sure that the screws are, you know, they're not too long and you could easily see if they're too long. Um, if you open up the dust cap, right, and you look where the primary mirror is, I mean, you're, you know, you're not going to see it on camera, but you'll actually see them sticking out too far and the mirror will essentially, you know, like hit the, uh, the screws. So make sure you don't use screws that are too long. Obviously, you don't want to use screws that are too short either because, you know, I mean, this plate will be holding the entire scope now, you know, once we take it off the fork and put it on the GL mount. So anyhow, uh, luckily, we just got a new carpet. That's my old carpet right there from the living room. So I'm going to actually probably lay this thing out uh, on the carpet and to do the OTA removal. So basically, in the past, all you got to do is you, there's three screws on each side that hold this thing. What I've done is I've unscrewed these and then you just kind of pull the OTA out. It works, but you usually end up scratching the painting on the scope, you know, kind of where the fork arms hold it. So this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to, because the forks, they're, you know, they're screwed together at these two points here. This isn't just one single thing. I want to try to unscrew one of these to kind of give it a little bit more wiggle room here. So that way, hopefully, when I go to pull the OTA out, it won't scratch the paint as badly. It'll probably be, you know, still marred, but that way, you know, hopefully there won't be, like, scratches on there. So stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. So here's the um, scope on the side, right? And see those four screws up in there? That's what I'm talking about. That's what holds the fork together. So I'm not going to try to take it, you know, completely off or anything. There's really no reason to do that. But I am going to try to loosen these. All 
All right, so as you can see, the fork is now loose, right? So that should give us, you know, the wiggle room that we need. Matter of fact, I could kind of, I think, feel play in there already. So anyway, we'll start to uh, taking off these side screws. Uh, and yeah, get the sucker off. That's not the right one. That's definitely not the right one. <clears throat> All right. So here goes. All righty. So yeah, that's definitely loose. I mean, there's a lot of play there. So I think this idea of... Um, kind of loosening the fork will work out nicely for me because last time I did this again um, it's pretty tight to get it out and it did kind of mar up the finish so hopefully this time it'll look nicer Alrighty guys, check that out. There it is, she's loose. So anyway, yeah, and now this thing is basically just as good as a regular OTA that you'd buy that was never fork mounted. I mean, I'll put these screws back in so that the dust doesn't get in there or anything like that. Most of this, as you can see, there's just dust on there. There might be a scuff right there, but I, you know, from my experience, all of these will have a little bit of scuffing from when this was factory mounted. So anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the thing below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.